Hello, FBO family, forever family in Turkey. We want to, uh, it was my pleasure to be participating in your success day today. Thank you so much for the opportunity of letting me come. Want to recognize all of our countries who are participating with, the, with Turkey. Besides Turkey, of course, we have uh, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Iraq, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. So we're very, very excited for what you're doing and uh, uh, keep up the good work. My topic that I've been assigned today is the, um, uh, the, retention, the retention of our four core policy. You know, our four core activities really help us to understand that we, um, these are the activities that will keep us growing and stable in our business. And we want to be sure that these activities are balanced and that we are using them uh, and practicing them on a regular basis. One of those four core is retention. You know, we can recruit and recruit and recruit and we can sell and we can sell and we can sell and it doesn't do too much good or it's gonna wear us out if we don't retain some of those people or most of those people, hopefully, uh, that we are recruiting and that we are selling the products to. So what is, uh, how can we tell how successful we are at retention? Well, the, the biggest way that we can tell, the easiest way, is the number of FBOs that we have in our group who are ordering every month. And you can simply take a look at your recaps, your bonus recaps, and compare the names uh, that appear on those bonus recaps over the last four, five, six months. That will give you an idea of who has been, is being retained and who is constantly ordering. Of course, for your retail customers, you want to uh, go through the list that you keep, hopefully, of all of your retail uh, customers, the uh, records, so that you know who is ordering on a regular basis, so that you can work on those who may not be ordering on a regular basis to see what you can do to encourage that to happen. So how do we retain? What is it that we can do? Well, I can't give you any magic words, really, or any magic uh, skill other than the skill of working with people effectively. Because people, you know, they're very strange creatures. They go where they're wanted, they <laughs> grow where they're uh, cultivated, and they stay where they're cared for. And that, in a nutshell, is retention. To let them know that we care, help them to grow, train them, and let them know how much we appreciate them. So remember that. People go where they're wanted, stay where they're cared for, and grow where they're cultivated. Another little saying that I like to use in the business all the time is that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So between these, uh, these two very, very important principles that I've just uh, quoted to you, I want you to know that you can retain many, many people just by making them feel important. Making them feel that you appreciate them, that you appreciate their business, that you're proud of them, and that you'll do whatever you can to help them to grow in the business. You know, <clears throat> this feeling of importance, think about, think about yourself. Aren't there certain places that you like to go? Maybe a favorite restaurant, or maybe a, a certain store that has a, a waiter or a, a cashier or somebody who makes you feel better, who is smiling, who is happy to see you, who is making you feel important, who doesn't do anything to embarrass you, but somebody who treats you like a, a, a person that you feel that you are. That's the secret of retaining people. And that's the secret of building a business in forever, retaining people, helping them feel like family, helping them feel like they are indispensable to your organization, being proud of them. You need to be a coach and a cheerleader. Teach them what to do and then be right in the front when they do it correctly and be ready to help them to make the corrections that they desire. We need to be positive. We need to have a positive attitude and outlook 
even though there are challenges that come into all of our lives, with every challenge, there's an opportunity, right? We've got the, uh, the great <clears throat> example of our founder, Rex Mon. He is such a great people person. He remembers people's names. He remembers things that have happened in the past that he's become aware of with certain people. And wherever he goes, he loves to take photographs with people. He loves to talk. He loves to uh, find out how they're doing. He's also very empathetic. And he understands that not everybody is perfect. We can learn a lot from that example, especially the part where every, nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes. And as, uh, as, as much as we would like to correct somebody or become angry with them or put them down or make them feel like they're less, that we know more than they do, uh, it, that's never good for our business. So <clears throat> retention means serving, serving others. You want to cater to their needs. Now, how do we do that? We communicate with them. We keep them in the loop so that they don't feel like they're on the outside. We always speak to them positively, especially when we're talking about themse themselves, that, uh, that we're appreciative of all that they're saying and doing. And we have a smile and a cheerful attitude, and we are helping them, lifting them up when they're feeling a little bit discouraged and letting them know that they're not alone, that everybody feels discouraged once in a while. So you see, it's not magic words or forcing them to order product or calling them and saying, why haven't you placed your order this month? Or, hey, if you wanna grow and get rich, you've got, to, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. No, it's encourage them, um, coax them, do it with love, with kindness, with uh, soft words, we should remember that we should never say anything to anybody that uh, would, we wouldn't want said to ourselves. My father used to always say, what I'm about to do or say, will it multiply what I really want? In other words, is it going to get me further or is it going to put a roadblock up what I'm about to say? And he always used to ask him that question when he was tempted to say something negative or derogatory or chastising somebody in, a, in a, an angry way, that's the real secret. And that's the message that I wanted to share with you today. I hope that all of you are working to build your business. I hope that you are uh, working to build the foundation under your business, to be productive, which means to retail the product to consumers, to the end consumer. If you have that base, if you have that, um, uh, that solid undergirding foundation of a regular customer base, you will have so much, you will have such an easier time in building your business. If you can train your people to have that base, you will um, uh, find that they will be much happier as well. So be involved in retailing, hold your product demonstrations, do your advertising on uh, social media, uh, use your message system to let people know about the products. Encourage them to try the products. Then once they do, follow up with them and use the principles that I've talked about. Appreciate them for their business. Appreciate them for purchasing your product. Appreciate them for placing that first order. How many of us are taking the time to sit down and write a message to somebody that we sponsored who just placed their first order? Wouldn't that be great to receive something like that? Thank you so much for placing your order with Forever Living and getting started in your business. I want you to know that I appreciate you and uh, having you in our organization. If there's anything that I can do to help, please let me know. How many of you have received a message like that? Well, those kinds of messages are what's going to encourage the next purchase. I would send, a, especially to your newer people, maybe those who are still uh, under the supervisor uh, level, the assistant supervisor and the Novus customer level, every time they make a purchase, send them a thank you note. 
you can look at who's making purchases in your um, uh, uh, online at foreverliving.com using your FLP 360. So keep in touch with them, appreciate them, and watch how they will work and work, even if it's just to receive more appreciation. People love recognition, don't they? They love it. They love it more than receiving uh, any kind of income because it makes them feel important. And that's what we all want. That is the secret to retention in your business. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity and hopefully uh, look forward to the time when I can come out and meet with you personally. Thank you and take care.